On October 9, 2024, BAE Systems secured a $184 million contract modification from the U.S. Army to deliver an additional 48 Armored Multipurpose Vehicles, or AMPVs. This order is part of the Army's broader initiative to replace the aging M113 vehicles in its Armored Brigade Combat Teams, or ABCTs, further advancing its fleet modernization efforts. The contract builds on an existing full-rate production agreement, reflecting the Army's focus on improving the mobility, survivability, and flexibility of its forces. The AMPV family includes five specialized variants, the M1283 General Purpose, M1284 Medical Evacuation Vehicle, M1285 Medical Treatment Vehicle, M1286 Mission Command, and M1287 Mortar Carrier. Each variant plays a crucial role in enhancing battlefield operations, from casualty evacuation to command and control, offering a significant upgrade to U.S. Army capabilities. These vehicles are equipped with essential onboard power and advanced features designed to strengthen the Army's combat fleet. Bill Sheehy, BAE Systems AMPV Program Director, emphasized the importance of these vehicles, noting that soldiers deserve the best technology available. The AMPVs have undergone rigorous testing to meet various mission requirements within the Army's formations. To meet growing demand, BAE Systems has increased production across multiple facilities, including its York, Pennsylvania site. The AMPV program is a key part of the Army's long-term modernization strategy, aiming to replace older systems like the M113. Production is set to reach 122 vehicles annually by 2026, with the AMPV's modular design allowing for future technological upgrades to adapt to evolving battlefield needs. This program spans BAE Systems Industrial Network, with production taking place in facilities across Aiken, South Carolina, Anniston, Alabama, Phoenix, Arizona, Sterling Heights, Michigan, and York, Pennsylvania. With this latest contract, the AMPV remains a vital component of the Army's modernization efforts, replacing M113s in key combat units and strengthening the overall capabilities of the ABCTs. That's it for now. Stay tuned for more updates and thanks for watching.